Good afternoon everyone, I'm going to tell you how I came across the cure for chronic insomnia undiagnosed. This is really simple, um, if you're a 28, 20 something year old, you're done with college, um, and uh, you know most things are pretty lined up in your life, you got a good education, you're pretty smart. Uh, you're in good shape physically, mentally, yet you still can't sleep at night or fall asleep, right? Um, you have to take medicine to fall asleep. I've been on half a milligram of clonopin to fall asleep. Uh, I've been on a drug called Safris to fall asleep. And I've been on a drug called Trazodone, which is like a horse pill, to fall asleep. Trazodone is a uh, antidepressant that's used for sleep, and I hated the idea of using an antidepressant for sleep. It didn't make sense to me. Um, obviously, there's some off-label use for it to make you fall asleep, and it, it's, it sort of works. It doesn't knock you out like Safris, and it, it's not as rapidly effective for me, at least, as Clonopin. Which is a benzo. I didn't like being on a benzo either to fall asleep because uh, personally I've I've just heard some different scary stories about it. I had a teacher who told me it can have epigenetic effects which can uh, cause your offspring to be addicts to benzos and uh, it's generally can be addicting. So this is the story of what happened to me, helped me uh, literally the same exact night get into uh, deep sleep right at the time I wanted it, no, meds, no medication, the first time trying to sleep without medication and having success in probably three years, um, at least since 2016 maybe, four years. Um, and I'll tell you what happened that night. I proposed to my girlfriend. This was January 28. I haven't told anyone except my parents and my sister about this. Um, I proposed to her. She said yes. Um, I made her a couple rings out of paper clips because we were in um, residential rehab that I'll tell you guys about later. The residential rehab, I just, I got sent there because I dented a car um, of a parked car that was parked in front of my apartment that uh, I took offense to their custom license plate, the uh, vanity plate <coughs> on their car. Ended up getting in a fight with the owner, kind of a boxing match. I'm not, a, I'm not really a boxer. It's safe to say I didn't drop him dead in the street with my fists. Um, he was a boxer. Uh, anyways, I'm a wrestler. <coughs> I wrestled for a year, year and a half, maybe two years in high school. But uh, long story short, the cops came and they sent me to the hospital instead of... jail and the hospital then sent me to this residential rehab so I just call that jail it's basically jail for people who have depression or uh, some other chronic potentially permanent life uh, for life mental health disorder and actually I'll tell you guys how I overcame between five and seven diagnosed and undiagnosed uh, mental health diseases that most of them are considered incurable. <coughs> um, I have like an hour long video but I don't know if I want to share that one with you or redo it or what so I'll tell you my story short, shortly. Um, 
Anyways. For some reason, the night that I proposed to her and uh, officially, effectively became engaged to my then girlfriend, Diane, um, for some reason, on this, the very same night, I decided, fuck it, I'm not taking a horse pill, antidepressant to fall asleep tonight. I'm just gonna try to sleep. Or just lay there, or whatever the fuck. And uh, from that night forward, I've been able to fall asleep every single night without an antidepressant, without a benzodiazepine, without a antipsychotic or um, mood stabilizer, which I can explain, or I have explained in a separate video, why I was on the uh, class of drugs. And uh, I haven't taken a sleep med for ever since January 28th. I've been sleeping great. So, um, if you're having trouble sleeping, you're, you know, early, mid, late 20s, um, maybe early 30s, and you just can't sleep at night. Well, if you also happen to be single or in a relationship, perhaps you just haven't uh, asked the most simple question you could ask is, w will you marry me? And uh, it's amazing how healing that can be to have a significant other that you love who will be beside you uh, through thick and thin and, uh, you know, someone you'll care for and who will care for you and uh, something really positive for both of you. Uh, this is literally my insomnia, chronic insomnia, undiagnosed chronic insomnia, overcoming um, slash becoming rid of or cured of uh, story. It's as simple as asking a single question, will you marry me to the person I love and want to spend the rest of my life with that I've been dating and uh, thinking about marrying already and getting a positive outcome. So, if you're in a similar situation, you can't sleep, you don't want to take sleep meds, try proposing, see if it changes your life. Could be that simple. Could be the thing you're missing, the link, the missing link. Alright guys, that's uh, how I became cured of chronic undiagnosed insomnia. And don't have to take meds for it. Drive home safe, people. Enjoy your afternoon. Beautiful out. It's probably like 65 by now. I don't know what the weather's gonna get up to today. The grass is green. The air is fresh. The sky is blue. We got a beautiful yard. Bocce ball, basketball court. Uh, stay healthy. Stay happy. Enjoy your day. Uh, try not to think about the news or coronavirus or any of that. However, I will be posting some content on coronavirus, just not the stuff you'll see on the news. Something that might be a different perspective on the subject, a little bit uplifting, something positive here. So, alright, peace.